Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I understand it has been a very long absence. My apologies as life has been keeping me busy. But here I am with a bit of a walkthrough for a boss that I understand has been giving a lot of people trouble. This is my Tiamat taming guide, if you will. Uh, basically, I am at, I am in the end game right now, or the post game. Uh, all of my gear, as you probably just saw there, is at level 300, or in the area there. This is Chaos Difficulty Tiamat, and uh, at the very highest difficulty as well, he is at level 300, or I should say she is at level 300. So basically, for those who are still in the story, what that basically means is that this is a far tougher fight. Tiamat is going to hit harder and take a lot more punishment than you will uh, if you're fighting her in the story. For this first, there's two fights here in this video. And the first fight is going to be me fighting her with gear and skills you will have at the point in the story. And basically, as... As long as this fight is and protracted, if you are using these skills and strategies in the story mode, it should go a lot faster because Tiamat is not going to have the defense and offense she's going to have uh, at this point. Because again, this is the hardest difficulty and she's at the highest level the game will allow you to fight her at. At least right now until uh, an update comes along and gives you an even higher difficulty and higher level to fight her at. So basically, I am going to uh, just mention I am using Spiritual Sword. It uses three portions of MP, but it hits very hard. If you're at the story mode, our Edge will do you just as well. I just like the effect of Spiritual Sword. They both do the same thing, just that, of course, Spiritual Sword hits a little bit harder. And it'll make the fight a little bit shorter, and as you can see, will break Tiamat faster. Our Edge will do the job just as well. It'll, it'll just take a little bit longer, but still, same effect, just a little bit less so. And so here we are in the second phase of the fight, and with Tiamat... One of the things I just want to say is you do not want to get into a scrap with Tiamat. Tiamat's effects are all except for the um, for that laser breath attack there. They're all close range and all and just about all of them will be covering the entire body except for that breath attack you just saw there as well. So basically what that means is Tiamat has about a good three or four ways to hurt you in any given moment if you're fighting up close. You only want to get up close to charge your MP with a uh, soul shield and then get the hell out of there. It's basically a stick and move kind of fight. And so you never ever want to be in close unless you're taking hits to charge your MP. So, I've got my allies always in residence mode here, and always going all out, so they are keeping her busy and distracting her while I look for openings. And so I am just going to shut up right now and let the fight play out. I will just say, whenever she does laser breath attack, you never want to charge too quickly as you just saw. You want to wait until just before she fires to dodge out of the way. So, as I mentioned, I am just going to let the rest of the fight play out with those tips. That's all I have to say. I'll be back in about another four minutes to talk about the second phase of the fight. And so, and I'll leave uh, where that phase, sorry, the second fight, I should say. And I'll leave that mentioned in the notes below, sorry, in the description below. So, if you just want to see a much quicker fight with... Um, with more effective stats that you're going to have later on in the story, check it out there, and I'll be speaking much more briefly when that uh, when that fight happens. Till then, just enjoy the rumble, and like I said, this is really how 
This is really how you're going to take her out. The most effective strategy I've been able to find in the story mode. So take care. Hope you enjoy the video. And I'll see you, like I said, in about three minutes when I start doing commentary on the second fight. there everybody welcome back to the second fight here and so with this rumble i'm going to be using an axe along with my dark knight uh, dark knight so long as you have affinities maxed out is going to be your heavy hitter in the post game uh for uh so in the story mode you're not going to have the abilities you're going to be seeing here until much later so until you get the option to fight her again in the side mission uh, hopefully you've been working on Breaker um, up until that point because if you have unlocked Breaker, you can get a awesome ability called Starfall, which as you can see is pretty much game-breaking as a single shot took off half Tiamat's stamina gauge right there. And so it is... And there we go. I've already broken her, so we're going on to the second fight. Uh, like I said, you're not going to have this when you reach her in story mode, but you should be working your way up the breaker as soon as possible because Starfall is absolutely a devastating at attack, which will break pretty much any boss or any main enemy. It's basically the attack is game breaking, which explains why you need to unlock an advanced class to get it. So definitely go with that work your way up to the breaker class and getting starfall as soon as possible because when you do basically you can cakewalk any boss and i just want to reiterate this is a level 300 chaos mode fight and so you can imagine how quickly starfall will devastate bahamut in, sorry tiamat in story mode so that's really all i got to say there. Otherwise, it's just the same strategies. Uh, soul Shield for the hits to build up your MP gauge. Starfall takes two MP um, bars. 
But as you can see, uh, it is absolutely worth it and is way more effective than Aura Sword, which, uh, sorry, than Soul Sword, which uh, uses three. So definitely get that attack as soon as you can. It breaks bosses and just makes TM at absolute K walk. Thanks so much for your time watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do tune in when I upload more videos later on. You take care.